Hey, what's up guys? It's Funky Jared here, and here I am with the full comparison of the iPhone 5 versus the iPhone 4S. So first I'm going to start with the hardware. So I'm going to put these up, stack them up, and as you can tell, the 5, the black 5, is a lot thinner than the iPhone 4S. And all the buttons are in the exact same place pretty much, except for the headphone jacks has been moved from the top to the bottom on the 4S. Yeah, it's hard to tell right there. But also, there's redesigned speakers to replace these things. And, of course, the new lightning connector, that tiny lightning connector port to replace the big 30 pin. And the cable is much smaller. So that's the hardware. Okay, so now I have, as you can see, on both of them, I have all the apps closed except for Safari, which I'm in right now. I'm going to do a Wi-Fi speed test. And right now I have Best Buy, and I also have the tabs closed, if you can see like that. All the tabs are closed. So on each of them, I'm going to load BestBuy.com. Right, so I'm going to hit go at the same time, and we're going to see how much faster the iPhone 5 is than the iPhone 4S. Go, go, and 3, 2, 1. That was about a tie. The iPhone 4S might have even won. Let's do another test. I'm going to load... Okay, so now I have youtube.com slash funkyjared loaded there, and I'm going to press go again at the same time. And release. There we go, now the iPhone 4S came. The iPhone 4S loaded a little bit faster, actually. Let's just try one more site. Whoops. Let's do engadget.com. So I've been gadget.com, typed in over here, and I'm gonna hit go at the same time. Go, go, release. So right now the iPhone 4S is actually loading a little bit faster. For Wi Fi speed tests. There we go, it's, it was actually about the same. Okay, so now I'm gonna test how fast certain apps open on each. So I'm going to hit Infinity Blade, it's an app, it's a pretty graphics intense app. Uh, I'm going to hit it at the same time on each. So that was pretty close. It looks like the iPhone 5 may have been half a second faster. But let's try the apps. I'm going to try the opening the App Store. Try it here. So I have the App Store here. And hit them at the same time. And on the iPhone 5, it came up much faster than the iPhone 4S. Now, let's do YouTube. The YouTube app. See how fast this loads. And it is faster on the iPhone 5. It did come up a little bit faster, and the video is loaded faster. And now I'm going to test how fast Siri works on each. So I'm going to open Siri and. So I'm going to ask it a question. I'm going to hit them both at the same time, ask them both at the same time, and we're going to see which one comes first. Or how much faster the iPhone 5 will be. And I'm going to ask it. What is 800 million divided by 6 to the 34th power? Checking my sources. And it did come up faster on the iPhone 5. And we're going to see this answer. That is a big long number. And it is still loading on the iPhone 4S. So the Siri on... The iPhone 5 is okay. much faster. Here's and there it comes up. There we go. That is a massive number. I would not want to do that. So for with the A6 processor on the iPhone 5, they say it's two times faster, and that is very true on most things. Like such things, things such as like Safari, web browsing, it's about the same on each. I mean, it's sometimes faster on the 5, sometimes even faster on the 4S. And opening apps is sometimes the same, or it's fa it's usually faster on the, a little bit faster on the iPhone 5.
But with Siri, it's definitely a lot faster and a lot more responsive. Now I'm going to test the 4G LTE speeds. Hey guys, so uh, I'm, now I'm going to do a 4G LTE test of the new iPhone 5 versus the 4S on 3G. Now I had to go to a different location to do this because where I was before, there wasn't any LTE connection, so I came over here, and here I have a 3 bar right now of LTE and a 4 bar of 3G. So first I'm going to go to the speedtest.net app, and I find it here, here it is. So I'm going to, I'm going to test them both. Oh, right now I'm on a 4 bar of LTE, so that's better. So I'm going to begin the test, and begin it here too see the results of this. Uh, 42 ping, 13.91 download, and 11.83 up for the Verizon one. I'll be doing a, all, a couple more tests of this, so. And that's it. For, that's it for the 3G. But as you can tell, it's a huge difference. There we go. So now I'm going to make sure the apps are cleared. Clear them all. Okay, so now all the apps are clear. I'm going to go to Safari. And I'm going to clear these tabs. So the site I'll load is to youtube.com slash funkyjared. And here it is right there. So I'm going to hit them both at the same time. And the 4G speeds are clearly a lot faster than 3G. So now I'm going to move on to some camera tests. Hey guys, so this is a video on the front-facing camera of, and the the, the one on the left is the iPhone 5, obviously, and the the, le the right is the iPhone 4 S. Now uh, in the iPhone 5, it's 720p HD. But on the 4S, it is still VGA. So uh, right now, the audio is you you are hearing is from the iPhone 5. But right now, so right now, I just switched it to the iPhone 4S audio. So let me know how the audio sounds to you, and if it's improved on the iPhone 5. So yeah, it's HD over here, and it's VGA on the right. So it's obviously much better quality on the iPhone 5. So now I'm showing some still photos of the back cameras, taken from the back cameras. So on the left is the iPhone 5, and on the right is the iPhone 4S. Now as you can see, the camera on the back, is it's been improved a little bit with the sapphire lens covering, but most of the attention went to the front-facing camera. So the photos are on the, from the iPhone 5 are a little bit clear, but it's not that big of a difference. I also wanted to mention that when recording this video, I noticed that the iPhone 5's 40% better color saturation, or whatever it is, it makes a big difference when viewing things. Like, even right now I could tell. You might not be able to tell on camera. But here, I'm going to open up this picture. Let's turn them both sideways. How long? Um, not, I'm not sure if you could uh, tell exactly, but to me, it's a huge difference in, in the colors. The colors do look a lot better on the iPhone 5 than they do on the iPhone 4S. I also wanted to mention that the iPhone 4S is definitely not a fat phone. or It's definitely not very thick at all. But when it's next to the iPhone 5, it, it, feels, like a, it feels extremely heavy and extremely fat. Just the iPhone 5 makes it feel like it's... You know, like it's really fat, but it's actually not. It's actually a really thin smartphone, but the iPhone 5 is just that much thinner. So, is it worth the upgrade? In my opinion, definitely yes. The screen alone makes it a worthwhile upgrade for me. Plus all the other new features, plus and all the, th the really thin design, and basically everything in the phone has been upgraded, and the front-facing camera is really nice to have HD. So, thank you for watching this video. And that's my comparison video of the iPhone 5 versus the iPhone 4S.
Dude, Jared, you should have got that Samsung Universe 3 because my friends won an award. Oh, for what? Well, most ugly phone, but that's still an award.